I see opportunities for growth in 2018 in areas that really, stunningly, they're not new. We've been talking about this for a long time, but there's a level of maturity that's happening now. Tech companies are using a lot of strategies to facilitate growth. Most strategic discussions really boil down to, do I buy or do I build? But there's a third dimension that's really been added to the equation. And it is really now a, a discussion about, do I buy or do I build or do I partner? And the reason for that is companies are racing in a world that's changing so quickly to try to build end-to-end -end solutions. And they're realizing that they need to marry best of breed assets that they don't necessarily own to couple together the right answer for the right client in the right situation. And that's causing companies that commonly were competitors to start thinking about ways they can partner to deliver value in the marketplace. Mergers, acquisitions, and divestitures are still extremely important. As companies are positioning to try to find their sweet spot and make sure that their capital is deployed against the assets where they can win, they're making sometimes tough decisions to divest of certain activities where others might be able to take that to a new level and also still to acquire assets in areas where they're really trying to create competitive advantage. The other area that's really critical and important for technology companies to be mindful of is the constantly evolving regulatory landscape. Whether you're talking about privacy and security or data sovereignty, there's a never-ending set of evolving circumstances in the regulatory arena that are really critical for our tech companies to be mindful of in the coming year. Cyber is always important. There's a never-ending stream of bad actors that seem to be intent on disrupting everything. And there's an increasingly rising tide of response on the corporate side as well. We're seeing developments in cognitive technologies machine learning, natural language processing, computer vision, early identifying threats and mitigating threats, and in some cases, even eliminating a threat before it happens. These technologies have reached a level of maturity that they're really enterprise ready now. We've been talking about cloud for more than a decade, but enterprise adoption rates have really been sort of early innings until now. Cloud is becoming much more mature, a lot more stable, a lot more accepted. If you weave all of this together, you have to conclude that the future for artificial intelligence and cognitive technologies is bright. It's coming to our homes, it's coming to our workplace, and I don't think we're going to see this slowing down. I think it's just going to continue to add value to us in the way we work and the way we live.